All right, next steps. I am using wood dowels and a skewer, which I'm going to use to paint the dots onto my cardstock. I've got a sponge to clean my dowels because I don't want to cross-contaminate my paint. And before I begin, I'm actually going to review my good old-fashioned color theory. Considering I am doing a turtle, I am going to use green. And you can see that in this sample, they've used right across the complementary color red. And perhaps I'll do the waves in blues and oranges, purples and yellows, depending on how it's starting to look. So let's begin. All right. Okay, let's begin. I want to create a pattern around the image. I think I'm going to start with the larger circle. Cover yourself up. And I'm starting in the center. I'm going to have to go back slowly. Keeping the art, the dots, evenly spaced. I may have to go over some, it's not a big deal. You don't want too much paint on the end. I am feeling those are quite large, the dots. And before it dries, I'm just going to clean it up a bit. All right, I'm going to take a smaller dowel now, and I'm going to go in between. Okay, and you can see that I'm continuing to use the same size rod throughout the artwork. Turning my paper whenever I have to, starting in the center, and really important to sit up properly, have your sleeves rolled up, remove rings or dangling bracelets so they do not drag the paint as I continue to make my pattern. I talked about a complementary background earlier, but as I continue my piece, and always use a sponge to clean my instruments. I think I'm going to do a monochromatic background to show, show more contrast between my background and foreground. I'm going to use a smaller rod for the tail. And here I go creating the background using a nice solid blue. Cleaning that same size rod with the sponge, adding some white. Of course, white's going to be bright against the black background. I've now mixed some white and blue in my palette, and I'm going to fill the rest of my background with that light blue paint. Smaller circles now create movement. These waves are going in one direction and I'm starting to see the emphasis on my central symbol which is the turtle. And my background is clear. Okay, so now I've finished this piece and I'm going to put it on the drying rack where my class number can be found. And I want us to look at this one. It was done on a larger piece of black cardstock. And what I like about this one and I think I would suggest if I'm to do another one, is that the same size skewer was used for the whole piece. 
and this helps the piece look neater. It helps create better focus on the central pattern. And you can also see through the color choice, the entire background is in white dots with a few black dots in the end just to help emphasize those white dots. So in retrospect, I may have used the same size skewer, but I love the fact that I experimented.